I will now introduce three more controls in Visual Basic. One will be the frame, the checkbox, and the option button. Use option buttons to allow the user to make one selection from a group. You will use checkboxes to allow the user to check or to select as many that they wish. Allow me to demonstrate the differences between these two. If I simply select and click, drag and draw three option buttons onto the form, you'll notice their default names and default captions are options one, two, and three respectively. You'll see the names over in the properties window. The way I have drawn these is these three options are said to be on the form and belong to the form, which means when I run this, I will only be able to choose one of the three options. If I run this, you'll see that option one, option two, and option three can be selected. But I can only choose one of the three options at any given time. I cannot choose more than one. That is the nature of the option buttons. Stopping the program, we'll compare that to checkboxes. If I draw three checkboxes on this form, by selecting them from the toolbox and simply drawing and dragging them onto the form, you'll notice that these are called check one, check two, and check three respectively. Now, if I run this project, I can now select my options as before, selecting only one, but if I select check one, or check two, or check three, I can choose all three. I can uncheck check two, or check three, and whatever combination of check boxes I make has no effect on the other. Notice it does not have any effect on the option buttons either. The options, however, can only allow me to make one selection. Now this works fine as long as you only have one category of either options or checkboxes. But if you have more than one group that you want to present to the user to make a selection from, you will need to use a frame. The most important thing to remember about, remember about frames is that you should draw the frame first and then draw either the option buttons or checkboxes inside of the frame. I first will delete these option buttons and checkboxes by simply pressing the delete key for each item. Now referencing the toolbox, I'll notice that there is a frame icon that I can select and drag and draw onto the form. Now this frame is referenced or is called frame 1. I'll go ahead and draw two frames onto this form and I will change the caption of frame one. If you look in the properties window, you'll see that it says frame one. I'll simply call this options to indicate that I will have options in this frame. And I'll change the caption of frame two to read checkboxes. If you prefer, you could have the caption to be nothing and therefore it would simply be a solid border around the group. Now as I said earlier, the most important thing is to make sure that you draw the, in this case the option buttons, literally within the frame itself. So I'll draw three option buttons inside of the frame. By doing so, I'm now making the options belong to the frame. And if I were to move this entire frame, then all the options would be moved with it because I have drawn the options within the frame itself. When you do this, make sure that you drag the frame and not one of the option buttons inside of the frame. Now I will draw three checkboxes in my checkbox frame. Again, by selecting and clicking and dragging them into the frame itself. Once again, I can move this as a group by clicking on the frame and all the checkboxes will be moved with it. Now functionally this program does the same as before in that I can choose 
these three options, I can choose these three checkboxes independent of each other. Stopping the program and returning to the form. The advantage of frames is to allow you to now create a second group of options. So if I were to draw a, another frame onto the form, which as you can see is called frame 3, and I'll draw two more options inside of this frame. Now I have three frames. All will act independent of each other. Let me demonstrate this by running. When I click on option 1, 2, or 3, those options are said to be associated with that frame. If I select option 4, which is now in the frame 3, you'll notice I can select option 4 or 5, and the option which I chose in the original option 2 remains unaffected. Of course, this has no effect on the checkboxes, which I could choose appropriately. The trick here is to make sure that you draw the frames first and then the options within the frames to allow each group of options to be associated with a specific frame. Finally, if I were to draw an option button outside of the, any of the frames, simply on the form itself, let's see how that will be treated. So if I run this, I can select any of the three option buttons in the original group. I can choose either option 4 or 5, and I can choose option 6, and that is specific to the form and has nothing to do with either of the frames. And again, the checkboxes are independent of the option buttons as well.